have had the, uh, the map folks come around. Of course, if you want to uh, check any of the progress on the tournament, check how each player got to this final, you can go over to intelextrememasters.com. Of course, throughout, the, uh, throughout Season 5, that's where you'll find all the news about the Intel Extreme Masters first. So it's somewhere that you should probably bookmark for the future. So we're on, uh, we're on to Air Walk. I'm just going to tell them we are ready. And then they can uh, decide when they want to uh, when they want to ready up themselves. So Kilson knowing that he has to win these next two maps. Rafa has that kind of safety net that if he loses this one, he's got another one to do it. But the safe thing to do is just to do it in this map. Yeah, of course. definitely. Right, and we're going to go into uh, this map then. So it is possibly the final one if Rafa can win it. And of course, he's of course two to one in favour of the American. And also the reigning champion of the Intel Extreme Masters. Good move from Rafa once again. The Rockets are strong from Kilson. But again, the LG so powerful from Rafa. Kilson was forced to uh, back away there onto that yellow armour, which is not a bad thing. Kilson's looking really good now, well. especially after that direct rocket there. He's surely going to move in for the kill here. And the first rare goes to Kilson from Germany. Great little start from Kilson. Here comes Rafa, though, so aggressive again. He's knocked Kilson off that red armor platform. Going to come flying in with the LG as well. Surely Rafa's backed away, and he has. Kilson misses the rail. And he doesn't know where he is exactly there, Rafa, but Kilson is down to 13. Rafa chasing in, but look at the rockets from Kilson. How did he survive and get that kill? Really? Honestly, great play by Kilson there, great rockets. Rafa down to 8 HP as well. You can, you, we've seen this so many times in this game where people have survived with absolutely nothing. And even there, Kilson managing to get a frag um, out of its 13 HP as well. Yeah, it's been so close. I mean, every single armor and HP counted so much in this game. And that's really what you expect in the final. And Rafa, a oh, good rocket there from Rafa, but Kilson is going to pick up the frag. But He's, he's in no means in good control of this map. The next Mega is, is going to be hard for him to pick up. Definitely not solid. Good Rockets down the rail. Just a tad off there, though, for Kilson. Well, missed the second one in a row, but the third one is good. But you can see from the health that Kilson needs to uh, back away and replenish just a bit, which he will do. A bit of armor there for him as well. So Kilson not looking all that bad, but here comes Rafa. But again, the Rockets from Kilson. Absolutely amazing, flicks him up in the air, then hits the mid-air, direct rocket, and well, just brilliant, brilliant play so far from Kilson. He knew what he had to do coming into Aero Walk, and so far, he's doing it. Yeah, his aim has not let him down once. So <laughs> nice, nice direct rocket through the gates there by Rafa, and surely this is going to be bad for Kilson, because now Rafa has this full map control. Nice granite there to at least shave 100 HP and armor off of Rafa, but... Kilson is not looking too good yet. Both players exchanging rails. Rafa will, of course, replenish with that 25, plus the green, and he's now railable. That's the position that Kilson was aiming for. And has Rafa backed away just so that he can at least survive one railgun shot after he uh, picks up this red armor. He will drop down, and he does indeed get hit by a rail. But now he's been forced uh, around as well with the rocket launcher. Mega health was picked up by Kilson, and that was great kind of holding play by Kilson, he really held that mega area nicely. Yeah, and now he hit the rail as well. Rafa on 4 HP only, and no HP is up on this map at the moment. And there comes the rocket. Great work from Kilson, who now has a three-point lead with seven minutes still to go. Don't forget, Arrowwalk, very kind of fast-flowing map one, which uh, you know, the frags can absolutely rain in in, in you know, just a few seconds, actually. So it's by no means sealed in stone here for Kilson, and he knows that. Working hard to extend his lead. Good rail shot there. Great angle that he's taken. And we'll maybe now try and follow in for this frag. Right armor is up in a couple of seconds. There he goes. Shotgun coming out from Kilson. He's going to follow up. Good rocket. Uh, sorry, good rail close range from Rafa. But it won't matter because Kilson, with his shotgun, will make it 6 to 2 with 6 minutes and 20 seconds to go. There are the rockets as well. Surely another frag for Kilson. It will be. And Rafa is having such a hard time against this Kilson. insane accuracy of Kilson at the moment. Yeah, I mean, 45% on the rockets. We've seen some brilliant moves with that. 36% on the rails. But they've all been great shots from Kilson, let's be honest. Yeah, now a 9-2 lead. And Kilson is looking in really good shape. And I'm not agreeing with Rafa playing so aggressive now. He really needs to get back some frags. But 
losing them now in this situation is going to cripple him so much. Kilson knows he can just sit back, hit the shots, which he's doing. I mean, Kilson's not really, despite what his accuracy says, he's not really missing anything important here. No, and he's he's hitting some crazy shots as well. These crazy angles when Rafa is jumping onto red armor. That is just insane to hit those shots, and he hit more of those already. And now he's just wrecking up the frags, really. I mean, already a 10 frag lead here. We've still not hit that half time point, so you know what Kilson's done, Rafa can do as well. So you can't really uh, count that kind of thing out. But the, the rails from uh, Kilson, his accuracy is growing by the minute. He's now up to a 45% accuracy with his rail gun. Good work from Rafa, but again, too much health, too much armor, and Kilson will survive it. And now Rafa is really, he knows, okay, this, is, this, this lead is getting so big, I really have to get a lot of frags soon and make a big comeback. And if Pilsen plays this smart, he shouldn't actually lose this map anymore. 13 to 2, that's already a big scoreline. 4 minutes 45 still remain on the clock though. That's maybe time enough for Rafa to uh, work his way back in. Rails fired. In comes the LG from Kilsen and completely shuts down Rafa on the move. And Kilson's reading Rafa so great as well. Almost all the angles that he's looking at is where, is where Rafa's actually moving to. And you know, that's a big thing, being able to read your opponent so well on Aero Warp because it is so fast. There are so many routes around with the teleporter system and you know, just the multiple tiers. Yeah, and Kilson's aim is looking so sharp at the moment. He might give up a frag here soon, and he's just going to play it slow now, which is a really good decision for Kilson. Every second could count now. Rockets coming around from Rafa. There we go. That's finally a clean kill for Rafa. Obviously, after that mega health, he's going to get another one with the rocket launcher. The first one flung Kilson in the air and uh, kind of hugging the teleporter, but not quite going through it. And this would be a great comeback if Rafa's able to do it. I mean, great ten, rocket there from Kilson. Ten frags in three and a half minutes. Definitely, definitely doable. But all kill. I mean, Kilson knows that he just needs to maximise his damage, and Rafa's going to have no opportunity to really push him so aggressive. Yeah, as long as Kilson hits a few of these Rogan shots and delays Rafa a lot. And even here he has a good... Oh, he leaves He leaves really early here. I think he, he should have stayed longer there to put some damage in because Rafa needs those items to actually keep this, this rampage up. Again, the rocket slowing Rafa down. No items up here for a while and that plays into Rafa's favour if he can find Kilson. That's the main problem. There goes the uh, green armor being picked up by Kilson. Yellow armor not on for 10 seconds. Three till red. And the mega following shortly afterwards. And Rafa's decided he's going to take the red armor. Mega is going to be picked up by Kilson. And that's another big pickup from Kilson with 250 on the clock. Yeah, th this mega is going to help him so much to delay Rafa a lot at least. And maybe even get the frag. I mean, he's looking really strong now. And Rafa has to chase, so he's getting predictable. And oh, nice rail there by Rafa. Gonna wait out, hope that Kilson maybe pushes in a little bit too aggressive. Railgun shots being exchanged, but not actually connect. And it's still a 10 frag lead for Kilson. But the clock's 30 seconds further on than it was before. And that's really uh, all Kilson needs to do is we have a challenge here for the Mega Health. Kilson did pick it up. Rafa taking a lot of LG damage again. And it probably Kilson's means that he's not going to go in for the red arm. And Kilson's already up there. But Rafa has to take some risks at this point in the game. And Kilson shutting him down here. Two minutes to go. If he plays this map now, he should not lose this map anymore. Yeah. Lead has been extended up to 11, and Kilson just having such a great aim overall. And this one, I mean, 42% rocket launcher, 42% rail, 32% LG. They're just amazing accuracies from Kilson. Yeah. And if you look over at Rafa, I'm guessing, yeah, they're just nowhere near that level. Yeah. Nowhere near. It's really been the aim that Rafa couldn't cope with at this map. And ZTN's another one of those maps where, you know, if Kilson gets a good start and, you know, with his aim, and Rafa might just struggle again. Yeah, but again on, on Blood Run, it's, it's, the, Rafa can play tactical. his tactical game again, which is really, really hard on this map. I mean, you just can't, it's so hard to take the pace out of this map, and Rafa likes to change the pace according to his position on the map, and he just can't do it here. Kilson again actually steals that mega health away. He did get railed a split second after the pickup, though. 
we are into the final minute, by the way. 18 to 4 in favor of Kilsen. That's a massive scoreline. And that'll fill Kilsen full of confidence for, uh, for the final map, which we will, of course, be seeing because there's no way at this stage in the game that Kilsen will lose this one. And Anyways. what a great final to come down to the last map. And just look at these girls. I mean, <laughs> that is just beautiful to watch. Yeah. Really, Kilsen has pulled out all the stops here on Aero Walk. He knew what he needed to do. And he's done it actually better than he probably thought he would as well, in all fairness. I bet he wasn't, if you'd have asked him before this, if he was going to win what, by what scoreline, he would have never predicted such a big win, I think, against Rafa. Definitely not. I mean, 21 to 4, five seconds to go. That is probably the, one of the biggest scores we've seen on this tournament, at least. Well, we are going to hit the final. And it will be 21 to 4 that it ends. And Kilsen has brought us down to the tiebreaker map. Map number five will decide who becomes the champion here at the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge at Gamescom. Kilsen or Rafa. Kilsen says he needs a short break to get things together. You think this is the best time for Kilsen to take a short break after a 21 4 win on Aero War? I think this is the worst time to take a break. Yeah. I, I really think that this is the worst time to do it. I mean, if you if he'd have been ahead and he'd just lost by that amount to Rafa, then that'd be a great time to take a break I because mean, to throw your opponent off, good yeah. stuff. But Gilson's on a run, I mean... Even even if, if he has to go to the toilet now, I mean, even if, if I was in his position, even if, I had, even if I had the pee in my eyes already, I would still play at this point. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's... The, the thing about Rafa, though, I think he's not the kind of player that gets easily phased by losing the map here and there. I mean, of course, you've seen him at the Intel Extreme Masters, World Championship Finals last time, coming all the way back to win the game and of course win the uh, World Championship as well.